All right, guys, we're going to get the reading going today for Pisces and their person. Thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, and subscribed. I appreciate your guys' support. If you want anything on this altar, check out down below. And if you would like a personalized reading, check out down below as well. Thank you to everyone who has got a personalized reading. All right. Let's get going before I throw the cards all over the floor. Universe, what does Pisces need to know about their person? So, off the bottom, there could be a lot of changes going on in your connection, Pisces. Cycles ending, new beginnings. People, people. <laughs> what I'm getting is, for some of you Pisces, you could be getting divorced. For some of you Pisces, you could be getting married. For some of you Pisces, you could be breaking up or starting a new commitment. But what I'm getting with the world is there's things that are changing. Whether this is simple as you moving in with someone or your partner moving out of their home, there are cycles that needed to be closed, closing, and new beginnings happening because it's time. I feel like, it, especially with the card underneath. I have the four of pinnacles. Someone could feel like they really need to protect themselves at this time. Someone could feel very guarded with all these changes. Unsure what's going on or what's going to be happening next. I, I also get a little bit of fear. With the empress underneath Pisces, you could be dealing with the Taurus. Not necessarily. With the Empress, I get a lot of growth. I get that whatever you're going through right now in this connection and this dynamic Pisces is for growth, for expansion. Universe, give us a card for Pisces and their person. Give us a card for Pisces and their person. What do we need to know for Pisces and their person? need to know for Pisces and their person. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So this could be a connection where one or both of you feel like you can't live without the other person. Someone could also have an addiction problem. Whether this be a sex addiction, a drug addiction, alcohol addiction, an addiction of not being around. An addiction of being up someone's butt. Like, I mean, there's so many extremes with this card. When I see codependency, and this is, I don't know if this is all the therapy I've had or what, but when I think of codependency, I think of extremes. I think of doing something in very extremes where it's unhealthy. And I feel like a lot of things, again, are, are ending and shifting for you, Pisces, because it's time, because it's meant to go in this direction. And this is an ending. It's meant for you to end it. If this is you starting a relationship, I feel like there could be demons that you possibly don't know about with this codependency issue. I have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with one another. What are we getting for Pisces and their person? Someone could need to be honest about their feelings, about how they're feeling. Someone could be feeling very sad and disappointed when it comes to a connection. Not feeling fulfilled when it comes to a connection. Feeling very discontent. I kind of get a little bit of an attachment. It could be, you could be dealing with an Aries, not necessarily. I do get a lot of burdens, a lot of trickery, and a little bit of misery from this connection, if I'm completely honest, Pisces. Um, and again, with the Ten of Swords, I feel like there's going to be a very brutal ending in this connection because someone's just not happy. Someone's just ready to let it go, and it's time. It's time to let it go. With the Ten of Swords and the Owl, this, owls could also mean literal death. 
Um, but I'm not feeling that. What I'm getting is that, again, this is a very, very hard cycle to end. And I feel like it hurts. Universe, give us the future of this connection. Give us the future of this connection. So I see justice again. That can all literally mean a divorce. Um, and then I have the Eight of Cups. So I feel like someone is definitely walking away. I feel like they know what they deserve. Yep. Strength. Someone is trying to have the strength to do what they know they deserve. Things aren't balanced in this connection, Pisces. There could be a lot of confusion, illusion. Someone could also try to make you... Someone could try to put you in a third party is kind of what the energy I'm getting. I feel like one person tries to make the effort in this connection while the other one makes the mess. And I feel like someone in this connection is ready to walk away. They're wanting to have the strength to either bring a divorce or bring balance into this connection because it's not worth it. The backstabbing, the betrayal, the brutal endings. Yeah, I have a lot to you. The, the deep, deep emotions and feelings that this person in this reading is having to go through Pisces, whether this be you or them, is emotionally draining. And I feel like with the Five of Cups, this person, they, they, don't, they don't know how much more they can take. I have fire sign underneath, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So again, you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, I see side piece underneath. So again, this person could have definitely tried to put you in a situation where you were not the only one. Yeah, we have let them go. And the universe is wanting you to let them go. I feel like emotionally this person puts you in a not healthy energy and they're wanting you to have the the strength what else for pisces in their person universe pisces in their person what else for pisces in this person okay so this person could definitely try to communicate to you and i feel like it could be because you're walking away or you have been walking away so I do get the energy that this person, if you leave them Pisces or vice versa, I feel like the other person that's being left is going to come in, come in flying. Like, wait, 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 why are you leaving me? Because you're putting me through hell, bruh. Like, that's what I'm getting. What else for Pisces in their person? I want to get some of their feeling cards as well. Yeah, secrets coming out. So, again, Pisces, you could be finding out that there's a third person in your relationship that you didn't know about. There is something that's not good in this connection. Yeah, deception. The universe is wanting you to go within. I feel like... I feel like intuitively you know something's not right. You know something's up. And it could be because someone here is emotionally unavailable. You know something's up. Yeah, someone's avoiding intimacy. And they don't want to tell you the truth. They do not want you to find out the truth. But you know something's up, Pisces. One, it's because you're intuitive. But I'm also getting... You're picking up on these signs and these hints that this person's dropping without even knowing. Which is why you're ready to walk away. What else for Pisces in this person? Universe. What else for Pisces in this person? What else for Pisces in this person? Anything for Pisces in this person universe? What does this person not want Pisces to know? I see on the bottom, I hide who I really am from you. 
I feel like this person does have strong feelings for you. There's a connection. But I also get the energy that... If I can't have you, I don't want anyone to have you. I see, I knew exactly what I was doing. So this person could sabotage situations. And then I have finding out the truth crushed me. So whatever truth it is that you're going to find out or found out is going to be absolutely heartbreaking. And this person knows that they crossed the line. They know they fucked you over. I truly feel like this person had a third person in this situation. This person cheated on you or done something that was not good and they knew. They knew what they were doing. Yeah, and I feel like Pisces, you don't trust them. They left you speechless because I see I don't know what to say. It's like... You mother, leave! <laughs> like, how flippin' dare you? Yeah, this person lied. But their karma, they hear your voice. They hear your voice and they can't let you go. That's their karma, though. And I see I've been struggling. So they're, they're having a hard time. But again, I get that they sabotaged it. They sabotaged this connection. And I think it's because they didn't want to let you get close to them. They were scared of getting hurt. They didn't want to get hurt. But you ended up walking away because you were like, no, I, no, <laughs> no, you're not doing this. Universe, give us a card. Wow. I'm just shocked. Sometimes I hear your voice. Well, I get the energy that this person might one day hear your voice in like a grocery store or something and you actually be in there. And they're like, wait, is that my Pisces? You could also be friends, be with friends. The next time you see this person or run into this person is what I'm getting. Universe, give us a card for Pisces in this person. You could also be dealing with a Libra. Not necessarily. I just picked up on that. Seven cards just come out. Universe, give us a card for Pisces in their person. Yeah, okay. So, I wasn't even in this deck. I was in a completely different deck. And these cards literally just... I think I hit them with my finger and they fell over. I don't know. But with the Four of Wands, Queen of Wands, I feel like you're taking action towards your stability, towards your future, towards your home. You're hustling your butt off. If you're a single dad, a single mom, whatever you're doing, you are doing it. You're taking action and you're looking good doing it. With this Four of Wands, you're focusing on your stability. You're trying to find a sense of peace. And this person, I feel like this person watches you. And they see you empowered. They see you doing your thing. And they're like, damn. Yeah, they see you with that confidence. And they see you bringing in that prosperity. They see you getting those new beginnings. They see you have this sense of peace. And they're like, damn. I fucked Pisces over. I left, I, I left that. I cheated on that. I manipulated that. Whatever the situation's for you. And this person's like, oh, crap. What did I do? You fucked up. That's what you did. <laughs> All right, universe. Anything else we need to know for this person? Wow. I'm just shocked. A better person is out there for you. But this person's coming back. But the universe is wanting you to let them go because they're unavailable. They are unavailable. They see you thriving, Pisces. And now they want to jump on a train. Kick their ass off. Just kick them off and keep it pushing because we don't got time for this. This is my thing. And tell me down below if you're one of these. If you're not there for my struggles, baby, you ain't going to be there for my blessings. Period. Point blank. I'm glad whoever left this person in this situation had the strength to do it. Pisces, if this is you, I'm very proud of you because 
this person's a little bit of a shit show. This person puts you through a lot of negative, negative energy. And it, it's not fair to you. It's not fair to you, Pisces. You deserve better. You deserve more. All right, guys. I'm going to leave that here. Try to have a blessed day.